guys. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you different things that you can do to get rid of audition nerves. So I know, you know, your college auditions are coming up. Even if they're online, it's still nerve wracking. And if you have an audition for anything, hopefully the tips that I'm going to give you in this video will be helpful. So something interesting to know is that when you are experiencing nerves, your sympathetic nervous system is taking over, which is putting you into fight, freeze, or flight mode because your brain's number one priority is to keep you safe. So if your brain senses danger, it's going to do whatever it can to help you, you know, get away from it, fight it, or just stay in place. So if you've ever felt like you had to pee when you don't actually have to use the bathroom, but you're nervous, that is because your body is giving you a reason to get out of there. So the thing you wanna focus on is your parasympathetic nervous system, which is what is going to help you get back to homeostasis and a relaxed state. And you wanna be able to recognize when your sympathetic nervous system is taking over, because when that happens, your muscles are tensing and your breathing is not as effective and so it's harder to sing. So you wanna be able to identify that so you can do something to relieve that stress and that tension. And luckily for you, there are a myriad of things that you can do. So I'm going to be going over about 15 different things that you can do. Now, something I've heard about a million times when I was going through college auditions is remember that this is something you love, but that didn't really resonate with me because yeah, I love performing, but I don't love auditioning. So instead, something that I think helps me is thinking about how much you wanna share the story of this character or yourself, or maybe you wanna share like how much work you've put into it. Something that really makes me wanna share a song, even if I'm nervous, is like, if I think a song is really beautiful, I just wanna share that song with everybody because I think it's so worth sharing. So you can think about that instead. Another thing, you might not notice this, but if you take a video of yourself, some people start playing with their clothes like that, which is very noticeable and they're gonna know that you're nervous. So instead of doing that, you can move your toes up and down, just not the whole foot, just the toes, because they won't see that and it helps you, you know, get the energy out without it being distracting. Now, the big thing is you need to be prepared for your audition. This is the thing that trips the most people up is they feel like, well, I wish I had another day or another week and they don't feel like they're ready enough. And you know, that makes you feel really scared because you're like, well, I don't wanna show them that I'm bad or mess up. So you really need to practice your song, play it out, learn the notes, and then just sing it around the house, get it in your body so that if they ask you to run around and sing it or do like any different adjustment, you can do that easily because you have it in your body. And I think also focusing on what you can do because you actually have control over 90% of your audition, even though it doesn't feel like that, you have control over most of it because of your preparation and what you do in the room. Next is to take your nervous energy and put a positive spin on it. So what Kara Lindsay said she does is she channels that nervous energy and she puts it into her character or her song or whatever she's doing. And so she tries to think about it as if her character really wants their objective so bad that they're nervous about it. So, you know, taking in to account how you're feeling can really help. And also just once you realize that you're nervous, just switching the narrative and being like, I'm excited tricks your brain. So definitely try that out. Another thing is fake it till you make it. I have used this one before and it has worked for me. I was told to picture your most confident self. How do they stand? What's their posture, you know? How do they enter the room? what aura comes off of them. You know, think about that person and it's just you, but more confident and then just be that person. And it seems like how would that work, but really just becoming that person and just faking it till you make it. I mean, we're actors. So I think that one actually really works. Another thing, sing for other people. It doesn't just have to be your audition song. But in general, sing for people. If it's over Zoom, if it's in person, you need to get used to singing for people. Because when I first started singing for people, my voice was shaky and my breath control was a lot worse. And 
I still get nervous to sing for people because that's natural, but because I've sung for people so many times, my voice isn't shaky and it's easier to control, which is really what you want. Because if you don't perform for people that often, then you're more likely to have a shakier voice. Another really great thing is meditation. This is so overlooked, but it can help energize you, ground you. I will link below a playlist. There are some that are five minutes, but just either doing deep breathing when you're there or before you get there, whatever to ground yourself is going to be so helpful. And even just on a daily basis, trust me, it's gonna be really great. But also another thing is to realize that you know, even professionals get nervous. I mean, Kara Lindsay gets nervous. Jessie Mueller gets nervous. She tends to clear her throat a lot. And she said that is because she's nervous. And she is my favorite musical theater performer. And it's just crazy to think that like, even she gets nervous and she's incredible. So there are other things you can do, like get into nature. You can actually touch your lips because that activates the parasympathetic nervous system. You can do yoga. You can repeat a happy phrase again and again. You can visualize your happy place in your head. I think that one's a really good one. And then another really great one is to intentionally tighten up your muscles. So start with your hands and then squeeze them for a few seconds and then release and let the tension leave your body and then do that with different parts of your body. And I think that really helps get rid of tension. You can also do breathing exercises like the box breath where you breathe in for four, hold for four, breathe out for four, and then hold for four. And you can change the numbers, of course. You can also do breath of fire, which is where you breathe out really fast, either from your nose or your mouth, like, <laughs> or, so whichever, I think that one is great. Also doing a little bit of exercise, like maybe right before you go into the room, do like 10 jumping jacks or like 15 squats or something to get your heart pumping. I have heard that that really helps for some people. So a tip that I think could help you is to drink apple juice or to have like a sweet. If it is a sweet, maybe put it on your tongue and swallow it so you don't have food in your teeth. Because something like apple juice or something sour will really help with your saliva production and so your mouth won't be as dry when you are singing. You can also have throat lozenges, but if you do that, don't have anything with menthol because that will numb your voice and you don't wanna have, there are ones without menthol, but you don't wanna have those ones two to three hours, I think, before you sing. And you can also, of course, steam. If you do, you need to clean it because I didn't and I got sick. It's not fun. It's just recycled air. So you wanna clean that out after you use it each time. So another thing with hydration and saliva production, if you're in your audition and you're having water that is in the moment going to help hydrate your mouth, but it takes 48 hours for your cells to hydrate. So you need to be hydrating two days before your audition. And really you should just be hydrating on a daily basis because it's a really good thing for singers to do. And I actually use Plant Nanny and you give your plants water and it's a really great way to keep track of your water intake and it's really cute. And so you want to have at least 64 ounces of water a day unless you're an athlete and singers are an athlete. So you wanna have half your body weight in ounces plus six to 10 more ounces, depending on how much caffeine or coffee you have. Another thing that is super important is sleep. Now, the night before your audition, it might be hard to sleep. We've all been there when you're really nervous and excited, but you wanna be getting sleep leading up to your audition, so the week of your audition. You wanna get seven to eight hours of sleep. I get eight and a half hours of sleep every night, and the way I do that, I use a sleep tracker on the clock app, and I look at, you know, what time I need to wake up and how much sleep I need to get. And then I can see what time I need to go to bed. And then once it's that time, I put everything down and I go to sleep because sleep is so much more important. And also going along with sleep, you want to be eating well leading up to your audition because you want to feel great physically. So also exercise will help. Another thing that's going to really help you is getting a journal because, you know, you walk out of your audition or you just finish your audition and you're like, well, I wish this thing went better or this thing, wow, I was really great at getting over this obstacle. You wanna write that down so that if it's positive, you can do the same thing next time. But if it's negative, I made a mistake and then I didn't write it down. And then I went into the next audition and I made the exact same mistake. 
and it was avoidable. If I had just written it down and prepared for that, then I wouldn't have made the mistake and it would have been a better audition. So that is everything I have for tips on getting rid of audition nerves. If this helped, definitely like the video and subscribe for more. I have tons of videos on applying to colleges and leave any questions you have about anything. I will do my best to help and have a wonderful day. Bye.